very good. Okay, well. September 8th was the last time I threw in my child. September 8th, 2017 was the last time I seen my child. I'm going to ask y'all to forgive me. But if y'all don't forgive me, it's okay. Because guess what? Y'all might not never forgive me. But I can't control the way that I'm feeling. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Deep down in my soul. I'm hurting. I'm believing. They say time here all, all wounds. And I'm a true believer that I can't rush God. Well, through everything without which I stand, I know God got me. God did not put us through no more than we can bear. And I'm telling y'all, for the people that want to inbox me about bullshit, excuse me for disrespecting, or saying curseful words, but I'm human. It's only my right. I can't dictate the way that I'm feeling. But each and every time I gave a person the opportunity to help me, when they said that they was there for me and they loved me so much, y'all forsake me. But guess what? Through it all, I forgive y'all. I forgive y'all. My destiny ain't to please humans. I ain't even trying to please him. Guess what? When you decide to go on with your life, I'm still lacking my baby girl. Do not forget, I heard YouTubers say she ain't acknowledge us than this and that. But if you was true to the fucking game, you would have knew. If you true to missing children and all these unexplainable missions or deaths or whatever, been doing it from the kind of suit, huh? I do, I do things without recognition. All my life I have done things without my recognition, uh, without human recognition. Because I look for God to say, child, your job is well done. But if you're looking for recognition with me, guess what? Every time I try to recognize somebody, guess what? I think that I want to recognize somebody. Guess what? Here it go. But guess what? Today I come to tell y'all, if y'all need to hear this, I thank y'all. <laughs> I thank y'all. Because, because through it all, it ain't going to bring my daughter back. When I spoke to the world, I spoke up how you could be at your worldliest days, but your deadliest days. I spoke of the world to see the things when I saw it was cameras that could have caught my daughter's last reaction. And they tell me, I heard of, out of experience, 2000, well, I'm sorry, 1997, April the 4th, of how crooked a department can be and say whatever. Like our police told me a long time ago, I'm the one with the pen. That was a whole lot of black knowledge because it let me know. You can say whatever you want to say, but I'm the one with the pen. When I write down, it is what it is. Let me tell y'all something. I said it before and I said it again. I can never be or can never say or whatever who y'all want me to be. So make this or whatever y'all want it to be. Take it inside y'all want it to be. But y'all, if y'all think about it, y'all should be thanking me. Because in the hood, we can't party without somebody getting killed or somebody getting shot or uh, running for our lives. So we figure if we go in these nice neighborhoods, we safe. Kanika was not new to no hotel privilege. Ever since Lenore was five years old, well, I say six, I did my kids' hotel parties or motel parties. Because I was, I knew it wasn't no gun battles. Hell yeah, the hood is messed up. I'm not in denial of that. But when I came to CP, and I asked them for help, and not only that, when I asked, when I asked 
what happened to my child when I received that phone, phone call at 4.34 in the morning. And at 4.30 in the morning, I'm he, I heard a story. And then I heard a person response and say, no, nah, fuck that shit. I'm ready to go. And you her friend? You said, no, nah, fuck that shit. When I asked y'all, please wait on my bike, baby. But when I saw that you was Ruby, and I saw that if you keep coming on, if they bring up charges against us, my color, if they bring up charges and say, you did this, you did that, when I'm hearing you say this Ruby outburst, well, of course, I'm trying to keep peace because it ain't your daughter. It was my daughter that was missing. It was my daughter that I didn't know until 4.34 in the morning that she was missing. And when the person called me, they told me, Mom, they mad at me because they didn't want me to call you and tell you that your daughter was missing. And then when I asked them, what, you didn't tell me now, Tab, that my daughter, y'all had her phone. But when I told y'all, please don't leave my baby. And when I heard a bastard say, now nah, fuck that shit. I'm ready to go. Why, of course, I knew we had our, let, our heads in the lion's mouth. And the only way we could get it out is if we ease it out. So I knew y'all was out there doing whatever y'all was doing. So the only reason why I asked y'all, just calm down. Be patient. My biggest purpose was to find my daughter. And I told y'all before I dropped y'all off, please, this is no time to be lying. Tell me the truth, please. And y'all told me nothing. I said, because every minute count when it comes to saving a life. And y'all told me nothing. So I went out there because I heard a person say, nah, fuck that shit. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. That person know who they is. The same person that left my house. September the 8th. The same person left my house with Kanika. September the 8th. You was the very one that told me. Said, no, you didn't. You said it said in the open because I didn't know this person had me on speaker. But you heard me say, please don't leave my child. So I knew if you would be rally, police shoot you in the fucking head for not doing nothing. For you knowing your rights. I have, I have been a victim of a per, police assassinating my character. 1997, the police, April the 4th, the police beat me and my baby sister up. Because guess what? I asked them, what was they jumping on my sister for? And guess what? She got on her radio station and said, I have two black bitches that's resisting arrest. Life. I never once resisted arrest because I always knew the police is always right. Especially when you got skin color like mine. And guess what? They didn't even come to court for me. Yeah. They tried to go to court for her because they knew the juvenile system was going to agree with whatever they agreed with. But through it all, we're going to skip that. Through it all, like I told y'all before, every minute counts when it's saving the life. If y'all didn't tell the truth then, y'all say I threatened y'all life. Guess what? I would not do that. Because through it all, I'm going to sacrifice that loss. It hurt me like hell that my baby ain't here. She was my greatest supporter. It hurt me like hell to see y'all peoples, especially black peoples, when I tried to unite with us, Kat. No disrespect to no other Kat, but trust and believe. In order for us black people to work within ourselves, we got to correct within us. And it's sick and it's sad because the first opportunity y'all able to be Trust and believe. I didn't have no forms of finance. My so-called job, I was good enough for them to put me as a, a, a demonstration of a welcome character, how a good employee is supposed to be. But I wasn't good enough for them even to pay, pay for my insurance that I had through them. So the only reason that time, what I did that one time, because I needed help. But I see that the backlash of these people 
at my old apartment that I had, they wrote Nazi signs over my building. They left flyers on my, on my, my doorstep. Not only that, I saw that tall man, I got his name, I saw his face. Oh, trust me, I know. But they ain't my focus. My focus before I let, allow the devil to get in, to interfere. I need the devil to know, you ain't my focus. All them people say, oh, I had something to do with it. How? But you can think what you want to think. Because through it all, after Jesus showed all the signs, guess what? They still, they still crucify him. So y'all could do what y'all want to do. I gave y'all the opportunity. Because my baby was already dead. I gave y'all folks the opportunity to look out for y'all selves. Like in y'all good days, when y'all think y'all in a decent neighborhood or with cameras footage or whatever. When I tell y'all that it was a camera over that freezer and it was a camera, I, I'm not going to lie and say I went on the ninth floor because the friend told me they couldn't remember what floor she was on. I've been quiet long enough. After this, I'm going to let peace be still. So y'all take it whatever y'all want to. Y'all YouTubers, y'all thinking of me, but let me tell y'all something. For the ones that doing the cloud chasing, I pray to God. Now, not all, but some. And the ones that's doing it for the loyalty, I love y'all. It ain't about color. But think for yourself. If, if, if you ain't got no kids, if it could be your daughter, your son, or whoever. The Bible say, watch as well as pray. I've been quiet long enough. But guess what? Through it all. <laughs> they may take me, but they ain't going to take my silence. Through it all, I still trust God. And if they take me, if they take me, let me tell y'all something. God is awesome. Can't touch him. He been here before you, and I'm try not trying to force this belief on you, but one thing I know for sure, he got it. Do not lose faith. And to do not lose sight. When I ran out that hotel, I dropped on my knees because I couldn't understand this. I said, God, this right here is too heavy for me to carry. I need you. And when I got back up off, off my knees, <laughs> only thing I could hear Spirit say is focus, time, focus, time. I made that lie to prove. That I was not rebellious of what the police already told me before I autopsy. They say, oh, she just stumbled into freak accidents like this happened. I was conceptive of whatever they could have showed me. But you can say whatever out your mouth. You can say whatever out your mouth. But when after they showed me the body, and after I saw the body, and then um, I'm like, okay, let, can I see the freezer? And when I saw the freezer... No, I say, Mom, they go to camera. And I saw the camera with them lights going. Oh, did y'all, I asked them, did they see the footage? And they told me, they said, oh, no, we got to look into that. Then when they close the closer argument, they tell me <clears throat> they didn't see no, there was no camera. Let me correct that. There was no camera, and they did not take fingerprints. When y'all say what y'all got to say, judge but let me tell y'all this those who have not seen cast the first song and let me tell y'all this i lord forbid i'ma pray mercy on your souls from here on today be careful what you do to a child of god the bible said touch not my anointed one kenika was the anointed one and he said do my prophets no harm y'all doing me harm so it's one to be for destruction. Be careful what y'all do. And I speak that in the mighty name of Jesus. I love y'all. Peace out. Now take that how y'all want to. Only wise will learn, but a fool would never. So you fools out there, no disrespect, but the truth is the lie. Take it how y'all want to. But know this before I go. If you decide, or the next person said, I had several people tell me they lost sleep. Do you know how much the fuck I lost? My baby, go! Your kid's still here. And if your mama, I, I pray to God have mercy on your soul. Or if your daddy, I 
pray that God have mercy on your soul. Because you bastards. I pray you never experience what I got to go through. When you know that your baby could have possibly been saved. Be because your skin color. I was too dying for them people to help me. I try to keep peace. Pray for you. I forgive y'all. But I'd be wrong if I don't tell y'all. Y'all hurting my soul. So keep going with your life. Because guess what? Can't nothing hurt me more than the death of my baby. So judge what you want to. But before you cast this stone, you better be careful. Now I'm telling you this. When shit start happening to you, left and right, left and right, all across the border, it's wonderful for destruction. 